all look at things differently, and our point of view or perspective is defined or influenced by several factors. Some of these factors include culture, religion, social or economic status, other external influences like the news or acquaintances, and etc. Simply put, Perspective is the way we look at things. If you're a poor person, you might look at that piece of chicken on your table and think that it is a blessing. While if you're someone more well-off, the same might not be true, and you might think to yourself that this isn't enough. If you're a Roman Catholic, for example, you might also think that practicing the sign of the cross is a normal thing, but it might not be true for someone of a different religion. The concept of a neutral perspective is a staple of any good information source. By a Wikipedia definition, a neutral perspective, or point of view as they wrote it down, is achieved by either not agreeing or disagreeing with the topic completely until proper evidence is examined as it would create a bias. Bias is the one thing we do not want to have in a society and there are a lot of reasons why. The deer and tiger example from above isn't exactly the most impactful to human life, so let's look at better examples that show how bias due to a lack of perspective can cause harm. As most of you probably know, the Russia-Ukraine conflict has escalated to the point where war has occurred and many lives have been lost. It's actually pretty easy to blame the other side when you look from a biased perspective. Looking from Russia's perspective, Ukraine joining NATO is seen as a big threat, so it seems logical for them as a people, or some at least, to secure Ukraine before it allies with their main opponent. Looking from where Ukraine is sitting, however, them joining NATO isn't something that deserves such a response from Russia. After all, several years ago, Russia annexed one of their regions and the Russian government is backing some separatist groups within Ukraine. It's also worth noting that these two aren't the only perspectives as the rest of the countries of the world have their own view as to who is right and why. The harm in this is that if we only look from one perspective, we'll create biases within ourselves. These biases will then cause us to be closed off from other information that don't align with our beliefs, and oftentimes this causes us to turn a blind eye on the truth. An even more relevant example, which will implement what I just said, is the current electoral campaign period going on in the Philippines. If you look at the comment section on any political post, you will see that there are many people being politically engaged. Political engagement is very healthy for a democracy. What isn't healthy, however, is when people have biased perspectives when they are presenting their stances and are interacting with each other. Going back to the political post comment section example, if you look at the most popular comments in those sections, you will see that they have very strong messages on, and language, and that they gain hundreds of reacts and dozens of replies. You might as well bring out some popcorn as you read through the content they're giving out. The issue here arises mainly due to the fact that these people somehow view their candidates, the people they vote for, as flawless and perfect individuals and they only focus on the flaws and the negative aspects of their rivals, the people they don't vote for. In short, these people are not considering other perspectives, they're being biased. If there's anything I want you to take away from this video, it's to always be open-minded and unbiased. Human progress and communities are built on proper communication, and bias gets in the way of that. With bias, people often stay away from the truth in fear of being wrong. And to the people who feel that way, I have a message for you. It's okay. It's completely natural to be wrong and feel stupid at times. I am speaking to you here as someone who's been corrected many times over, and what I, what I learned is that Sometimes learning is a painful process and that it's okay to feel stupid. What's not okay though is to stay stupid and blind to the real truth. And to the people who are trying to educate others, please do not humiliate them. It only makes them stray farther from the truth. After all, no one would go to a teacher who would belittle his students. You can choose to stay in the dark and see the ghosts, or you can choose to view from other perspectives and maybe turn on the light switch and see that it's just a hanging t-shirt on the window. Always remember that bias is harmful and that perspective is the best way to fight it. So keep your perspectives but not your actions neutral, always do the right thing, 
And that's it for this one. See you next time.